now we want to separate now. Again, product error has no function. It's just there because we need to define the reactor with the liquid product. Even though there's no liquid product, as you can see, so rate of zero. The next step will be to set up the separation unit, which is, I'm, I'm, in this case, I'm using a shortcut method. If you have, have learned something about the separation processes in your course, that will be the, what you call the uh, Win Underwood Gillian method or WUG method. So why I find that is, we go down to separation, separator. And then here we have a shortcut column. So this is what I want. So again, this will open that. So in the in a separator unit, you have a lot of things that interfere in. So in this case, we have inlet. So inlet will be product vapor. The top product face will be vapor, everything will be vapor. Overhead vapor will be a new stream that I will call uh so let's say this coin this delete bottoms of this coin bottoms because it's in it condenser duty i'll give it a stream called q101 with boiler duty q102 okay that will be enough to fill in this page so in the parameters we have to fill in the light key and heavy key function so light key is the main light component and outside the top Every key is at the bottom. So we want the lightest component of Italian. So Italian is on the top. But I want to limit the Italian at the bottom to 0 0.0015 more fraction. Heavy key with the product at the bottom. I want to limit the bottom product. Uh, the amount of heavy key will be the end of thing, the heaviest molecule. And then for the molecule, the uh, highest boiling point. And now I limit that to 28%. Condenser pressure will be 15 PSI. The boiler pressure will be 25 PSI. Uh, I still know it's not special, I can just put one. Too much population. Oh, yeah, this it should be 0.028. So still not enough. All oh, right, let me, let me check again what I put here. Two times and two. That should be correct. Think the minimum version is too high for vision. Okay, so it's we just leave it for now. And then we we'll slowly move up later on. So we get uh so it was it will give us the most important thing in a shortcut column is it gives you this page. The minimum number of trays, actual number of trays, optimal physics, condenser temperature, reboiler temperature, and vapor flows as well. So we show why it told me that it could, I could accept this, which is quite weird. So it didn't give me the same error. This is a weird thing of the uh, I see sometimes. I'm just I just going to give it at this number for now. And you can see that the minimum number of ways and so on changes. Okay, so let's move on and see what do we need. 
So this is a separation process. So we have a uh, slightly messy here. We just move this around and buttons. So in this case, right, we might want to do something like uh, optimization where you have to reduce the, the heat input. So uh, we need one more heat input here, which is for the reaction. This reaction that, that is exothermic. So let me just put this into the design energy term Q100. When you put in the energy term, the, the reactor becomes not specified because uh, it doesn't know how much energy is required. So I'll just set this to an isothermal reactor. That means that the product will be 93. Then that should be it. Let me see if I can change it now. That's good. Hmm. Well, let me try to reopen this case and we'll just see if it opens again. Okay, this is weird because now it accepts my 0 0.28. So I'll just, I'll just assume that this is a part in the latest IC solution. So, see, yeah, it's just a thing my 0.28. But perhaps it is a part. I'm not using the latest version. So again, uh, the good thing usually we we'll want to do is have the stream table. Again, we can do that by right clicking and then add one group table. So in this case, we actually have three heat streams. So I'm just add in the energy streams here. So that we can see there's the heat flow difference and then I'll just change the units to my, the unit that I just did just now. So Q100 is the heat removed from the reactor, negative mean heat removed. Q101, uh, condenser heat removed, 16, 6 kilowatt and Q102 heat input to e boiler 13.91 kilowatt. So again, I can also add a table for the composition to just to confirm that I have achieved my requirements. So you can see that uh, for the distillation column P100, I'll just rename this to as distillate and product instead of one and two. And so the bottom has a component mode fraction of Italian of 0 0.0015, which is what I imported, which is what I imported in the uh, in the input, and the top component distillate cavity is around 0 0.28. 0 0.2796 is around 0 0.28 because of the calculation tolerance which you can change, but I'm not going to change it for this uh, demonstration. So that's how you get like a uh, reaction and separation combo, which is quite normal if you're doing a plant design, you certainly have a reaction and a separation combo. It won't be like just pumps and heat exchangers and things.